I am Chelsea Mack here with Milltown Mag. And here today with us, we have Lindsay Hudson, who is a co-founder of Space Between Us, which is a podcast, video lo- videos, vlogs, <laughs> uh, and other content. Uh, so before we get into talking about Space Between Us, uh, please tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, yeah, so my name is Lindsay Hudson. Um, I am a special ed teacher out of the Wauwatosa District. Um, I support in social studies. Um, I do American politics, human geography, and U.S. history. Um, and yes, yeah, so this is my first year. I'm loving it. Uh, I like to build the rapport with the kids. And then I'm just working on my relationships with the adults in the room. So, mm-hmm. so yeah, that's me in a nutshell. Yeah, cool, cool. Busy, busy guy. <laughs> okay, bit. so the space between us, uh, let's talk a little bit about that. Let's get into that. So you talk, it's basically vlogs, content, pe- podcasts with vlogs. Um, and you're, you're getting into a whole variety of different topics, right? You're talking with your friends. Yep. You've had yep. interviews yep. with people talking about various things. Um, so tell me a little bit about Space Between Us, kind of how did that come about? And you said you're a co- co- co-founder. Um, so how did that come about with the person that you're working with and um, what you want the platform to be? Um, so obviously, originally, um, you know, we're like, we're growing up, we're becoming adults, like we're no longer like college kids, high school kids and whatnot. And so, um, you know, I have a close friend group, uh, Luck and b are really the, uh, the other co-founders of uh, the podcast. Um, you know, we have a tech guy who is again, a close uh, friend. And I mean, the way it started was pretty much me like throwing a bone out there. I'm like, hey guys, like, you know, it would be cool because like, I won't be able to see you guys as often because you know, we have one still in college one just graduated is going to be a firefighter. And then, you know, I'm full-time teaching. And so I was like, yo, it would be really cool if we can like get together, you know, shoot a podcast, kind of like uh, shoot the crap, you know, like here and there. Um, and yeah, am I allowed to cuss? I don't. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. So, so we, we were going to shoot the shit and whatnot. Um, and so it was just like, it was an idea that I kind of threw out there. I didn't really know if they were going to like catch on to it. And then luck was like, yeah like let's do it like he was like you know we're here really for putting out our information like whether it's content whether it's you know just anything that we just want to get off our chest and whatnot and so he was the one who actually I would say drove it home to be like yeah we're gonna set up we're gonna meet at my house on this day we're gonna eventually buy this equipment we're eventually and so like he is the I would say puppeteer behind all of the you know, technology we have, because him and the tech guy are really close friends as well. Um, and then b you know, he actually contributes a lot with the ideas of, you know, what we're going to talk about, um, giving us a even keel perspective, because we have three different personalities. Um, we did it at a fourth, her name's Asia. Um, mm-hmm. So she's the, you know, female perspective. Um, but me and Lucky are two strong personalities. So Will was the one that really, like, really balances us out uh, to the best of his ability, out, obviously. Um, but yeah, we, um, we originally started with podcasts and it was just, you know, like just talking about crazy content. Uh, we're actually coming up on our one year, uh, in March. And I think the first one we did was like barbers. And I, I was like, I was like, I had a ball fade last year, you know, and now I actually got some hair on top of my head. Um, and we just, you know, like we were just talking about like basic concepts, uh, started out as barbershop talk. Uh, then we kind of got the idea of trying to promote uh, Milwaukee homegrown talent. And so we had uh, the first guy was uh, actually the tech guy's relative. He was a uh, game designer who actually has a game in the app store called One Bit Avengers. Um, and so that was like our first like big hit that we saw from a video. So, you know, like, we get like, you know, 50 people watching, you know, like, cause we didn't, we didn't have like a big following at the time, mm-hmm. but then we dropped that video and like, it just blew up. Like, I think that is still probably our most watched video because you have so many people playing, you know, this game that's in the app store. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, you know, we took a look at a fisherman, which was like totally out the box. We took a day trip out uh, to a private lake. I, I can't disclose the name because that's his lake. He wants to, you know, keep okay. that to himself. He doesn't want to meet like uh, poles out there. Um, and, you know, we started getting into artists. Uh, so we did, you know, a couple artists. Uh, we did Eli Stone. We did uh, Jalen G. Um, and that was, you know kind of giving a little bit more culture uh, in the rap game. Uh, we did a, a financial advisor um, and a Kayla Hayes. Uh, she was a dope person to have on the show because 
you don't get a lot of uh, financial instruction. Mm. And then uh, our most recent interview was uh, with uh, Jacob Badowski, and he is a theater major. I wasn't personally on that podcast because I don't really know much about theater, mm. um, but it's nice to have the different facets so where all of us can either contribute to the show or be on the show for that. Uh, Lucky had the idea to branch out, uh, do the vlogs. So originally I did the space bars where I'm having people rap and now I'm doing conversations with people just to pick people's brains and have people tell their stories on a platform. Uh, Lucky is a gamer. So he does um, Twitch streaming and he also does uh, like sports analysis. And then uh, Beat Out started with food, like food challenges. And now he's switching over to sketches because he's just a really talented drawer. Um, and we're just trying to, you know, tease the best out of each other really is what we started. Yeah. Yeah. It's cool. And you having different people, a part of it. So it's not just your podcast. You have, yep. there's, you said four of you right now. Yep. Um, and that's cool. Cause everyone can bring something different to the podcast as well as con- having different connections with people mm-hmm. to bring them in. Um, so that's sweet. So you guys are basically just bringing in content, kind of whatever, either it's yeah. informational or uh, entertaining different yeah. things like that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I would say we even had, uh, you know, during the, like, the protest uh, back in the summer, we did, like, an emergency, like, where we, like, pulled up, it was unfiltered, and we just kind of, like, spoke, Um, so that was, like, super powerful, Um, and obviously, you know, there's some things you can air and some things you can't air, like, depending on, like, you know, rights and stuff, Um, but, you know, we we felt that was necessary. Um, We, as actually a a podcast, went out and protested together, Um, so that was dope. Um, we didn't want to like document anything because again, we didn't want to like, you know, get anyone in trouble and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's been, it's been a long ride and it's been nice to kind of see them again that once a week for like this last year. So, yeah, yeah, definitely. That's sweet. So what are some things that y'all have planned or that you hope to achieve, um, this year, kind of like what you want your listeners to get out of, to get out of your content? Um, well, I would say speaking for myself, um, I want my listeners to understand that it's okay to have your own original story. Um, that's why, like, again, like I picked the brains of so many people, um, cause my, my segment, my vlog is called debating to the moon and back. Mm-hmm. I think this is probably going to be, uh, one of my staples just because again, I like to have conversations with people. I like to just ask questions. So, um, having people understand their purpose um, having people understand the intentions behind their actions and then uh, giving people the platform to express, you know, how they feel if no one's heard them before. Mm-hmm. Um, like, especially speaking to my last blog um, with uh, Andrea or Dre, she, uh, she came on, you know, she's undocumented uh, and she's queer. Um, so she came in and she kind of told both stories. And, you know, I wouldn't have been able to even share that if I didn't have the platform. Um, mm-hmm. Some goals this year, um, we're, you know, we're reaching, uh, that 10,000, uh, view mark. Uh, so we want to hit that. And then, you know, this time next year, we want to like potentially be at the 2030. Like, obviously I don't want, like, I don't know what the future is going to hold, but I hope more people are latching on to our content. Um, cause for us, we enjoy the process. Mm -hmm. So like the results like will come, um, you know, we're not really big on like, Oh my God, we need people to watch this. Uh, I put, I put on my uh, Instagram, we actually created an Instagram page uh, this year, uh, actually towards the end of the year. So like, that's actually younger than our podcast, our podcast page. I want that to grow. Cause that's like my personal baby. Cause I, t- I, t- I look after that one. Mm-hmm. Um, I want the needle to be pushed in a, in a sense where like, I want us to like talk about edgy things where it's like, you know, somebody might not agree or even play devil's advocate uh, because I don't think that we all have to agree with life. And especially like, you know, if we even think about the president, like not all of us have to agree with what the president did or disagree with what the president did, but we still have to talk about it. Right. Um, and unpacking those uh, things is where I kind of want to take the podcast as well as interviewing more people, kind of like letting them like, you know, get their like 15 minutes of fame. So. Yeah. Yeah. And that's cool too, to like, not, not only in like with y'all talking together, about stuff but like when you interview people like it's cool to get that that point of view like you're saying like that story you know like that's not something that I would otherwise know unless I know the person in front you know if I ask them about it um so I think that's really important to 
to get out of our own, you know, like out of our own shell of like, this is my life and I have tunnel vision. This is all I know. It's good to like hear other people's perspectives and point of views um, and things like that. So that's great. Um, what is, what is your favorite thing um, that y'all have done this past year? So 2020, cause you said you started in March, so it's been almost a year. Um, so what was your favorite like segment or podcast interview that you've done? Um, I would say we had a bad genie segment. Um, and it was just like, if you had three wishes, what would you do? And so like, we, you know, we all came up, um, with like what we would come up with and then bad genie was literally the concept of, you know, okay, you made a wish, but how can you make this wish be as shitty as possible? Like, how can you turn it and be like, well, this is what you wish for, but this is what you actually got. Um, and that segment was really, you know, it was fun. And it was also kind of like teaching you like to love yours and not to really like, like get beyond, like beyond yourself. Like, you know, you might wish for something that you really want, but then the result might not be necessarily that initial wish. Um, so again, like I said, that was about loving yours. Um, another segment I actually like was fishing. That was actually my first time fishing probably since I was like seven. Um, I didn't know how to cast a rod. I caught a lot of seaweed that day. Um, so like that was an adventure that was actually really dope. Um, that like, again, like that's not something I can just do every day or like something that like me personally, I don't own rods. I don't own a boat, like to even get to that. I thought that was dope. Uh, something more recently we did was trivia. Um, trivia was dope. Um, because again, I, I would say I wear a lot of hats, but when it comes to like naming specific things on the fly, um, that, that was a really fun segment. Cause again, like you get to kind of see our banter between, uh, me and the boys and even Asia, when she showed, there's a lot of banter there. And it's actually, when you study it, you can see if, you know, we disagree that week or if, you know, we are really loving each other that week. Like, so like you can see throughout that banter, like how we're feeling that day. Um, and it's like, it's unsaid, you know? Um, so th those are a yeah. couple of initial things I can say that was like nailed this year was uh, the fishing trip is ideal, the bad genie and the trivia. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I love that you guys uh, put out a whole bunch of variety of different things. Like you never know what you're gonna get uh, with you guys. Awesome it's always something different. Yeah, definitely. And I'm always like, okay, never, didn't even never know about this, you know. So it's cool to listen as well and to like just to learn new things and learn different perspectives and um, things like that. But um, that's great, man. I'm I'm happy for you. I'm happy that this is something that you enjoy doing with your friends and um, that you've been able to reach people. Um, I'm excited to see, you know, this, this year, 2021, um, how you guys grow and, and reach different people and interview different people and tell different stories and, uh, stuff like that. I think that's really great. Um, so lastly, how can we learn more about space between us? Give us a little plug of space. Between uh, us. Give you a little plug. Um, so I would say, um, I am probably the most active on, uh, social medias in general. Mm -hmm. Um, so if you want to like get something that's more personal, um, I would say you can um, subscribe to our YouTube page, you know, the space between us. You can uh, follow us on Instagram, uh, SBU Collections. Um, you can follow me on Instagram, uh, HungryBrownKid14, because again, you're always going to see what I post. I post daily, whether it's of my pets, of my, you know, hobbies, um, of my food. Like I'm I don't do it for gratification and like what other people, I just like to show people what I'm doing. Um, so mm -hmm. if that's how people want to plug in and kind of see what the experience is like, um, digging back and kind of seeing how bad we were when we first started versus where we are now as far as like the camera shots, the lighting, there are maybe, I want to say six to 12 videos. Again, I'm a, I'm a dark skin. I'm not, I wouldn't even say I'm a dark skin dude, but I wear a lot of hats. And so I have mm. so much shade in my face where I look like an unlocked character and so much. So it's like to even kind of see that growth factor is interesting. Um, I'm always trying to play devil's advocate. So like, again, that's if, if someone's looking for that, like looking for someone who's willing to go against the grain, um, that's a nice way to follow me. Um, a lot of stuff that like we're influenced by um, are the people that we interview. So if you like want to specifically get a knack for who we are, you look for who we search out. You see what I'm saying? 
Um, and we've searched out mm -hmm. some pretty interesting people uh, who have, when it's musically different sounds, um, we have people who genuinely have their own stories from the fishermen to the undocumented to um, someone who likes to have gleam rock. That's like the genre of music he's trying to put out. Um, but yeah, the SBU podcast is going to keep growing. It's going to keep grabbing people this year and like showing you a different side of them. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's, it's nuts. Like, so I, I see, a, I see a lot of growth. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Well, thank you so much. Thank you again for your time. It was good talking with you. Good learning a little bit more about space between us. Um, but yeah. Yeah.